I am appearing on this screen at this moment to discourage you from seeing a movie entitled Atomic Brain Invasion. Pure and simple, that's why I'm here. Atomic Brain Invasion may soon be playing at this theater. It's not unthinkable that it may be playing at other similar theaters in this area. Although, based on the finished product, I suspect that the producers of Atomic Brain Invasion do not have the organizational skills necessary to project the thing on the side of a garage. It is obviously being distributed by some communist sympathizer front. Getting back to the point, it is important that as few Americans as possible view Atomic Brain Invasion. The film is dangerous and unprofessional mind rot of the scientific fiction variety that has recently become fashionable amongst loner types and perverts. It features the sound of wild rock and roll music, scenes depicting implausible fisticuffs, scenes depicting young, athletic women in immodest garb, scenes depicting the irresponsible operation of motor vehicles, and finally, the presentation of the United States Atomic Research and Defense Program in an unflattering fashion. In Atomic Brain Invasion, you will see scenes like this. Order attack by brain creatures! Oh, what can we do? Those things are horrible! Sweet peas in a basket! They've begun their first wave of attacks! They could have some kind of alien virus or something. Space coons. I don't like this. What do they want now? They want Elvis. Take us to the king. He's the king of rock and roll. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Elvis! Never gets any easier. We need a little less conversation. And a little more action. <laughs> No way, Daddy-o! Have I told you I've been studying an ancient fighting technique from the Far East? Yeah, E, but I just thought it was the films talking! I like them space movies. Man,